Hey, how you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Today we're looking at Grim Forest, the game. And this mess over here is Grim's Forest. First off, it comes with these great insert that has all, all the pieces, these excellent trays. So this is the board, believe it or not. You got three locations. You got a you got a, a field where you can get straw, the woods where you can get wood, and the brickyard, the quarry where you can get bricks. And we are three little pigs. There's actually four little pigs in this game, but let's not get semantic. And what you do is, so, so I'm green, so I would take like my gathering cards and I'm like, okay, so I want to gather straw. And everybody puts down at the same time and then we flip, then we go. And whatever straw there is divided among the people, whoever goes there. So if there's six pieces of straws and I'm the only one there, I get all six straws. But if there's two people there, I get three and so on and so on. Or any remainders are left for the next round. And then... Once we all gather, we get two actions to uh, build. So uh, we could we could choose any two of these actions we could build. So it, it gives you a price. To build a floor costs two of any resource. So if I want to build a straw floor, it's two. A brick floor, it's two bricks and blah, blah, blah. A wall is four and a roof is six. And that's what you want to do. You want to build these little houses. The first person to build three houses triggers the end game. We finish up the round and whoever has... It, well, if only one player has three houses, they win. But if other players also have three houses, whoever has the, the most sturdiest houses. So the way to describe this is a straw house is a sturdy of one, a wood house is a sturdy of two, and a brick house is a sturdy of three. So if I build two brick houses and a straw house, I have sturdy of seven and so on and so on. And then we just count up whoever wins. Now, that's real simple, but there's also friends and fables. We could get a friend. We could all have one friend at a time and they give us a little power. Uh, we could get little fables that let, that change the rules of the game for one particular round, like a wolf over here. Look look at this. The wolf will go here, and nobody could go there because the wolf is scary. The big bad wolf is over here. He will steal everything and, and break your stuff. The bridge troll will take stuff before you get there. Look at these miniatures. They're awesome. And then, uh, oh, that's, that's the, the fourth little pig. Oh, this is a dragon. And we got a giant that like wrecks stuff. And it's fun. You can play this with kids. You can play this with adults. I really, really like it. Look, look at these pieces. The only thing is I, I want to get upgrades for like little straw tokens rather than like, like little straw pieces, little brick pieces, little wood pieces. So I got to look at Etsy to see if anybody has that. I know this is a short video, but there's nothing else to say other than this is a neat game. You can play this with kids. You can play this with adults. I just played it with a couple of adults. And we had a blast. So this is a short video, so I'll put up a second video for the day. This is Grim Forest. Highly recommend a fun, easy game for people. You know, if you're a super strategy game, this might be too light for you. But I, I, I like I like easy games. I like super strategy games. You know, sometimes during the week, I got to go to bed early. So I'll play like an easy, quick game. Thanks a lot. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.